Hey guys, I'm NiceMark and what I have for you today is 44 things that you probably didn't know about in Minecraft. And let's start. Have you ever wondered what the underside of a cactus looks like? Well, you normally cannot see it because if you break the sandbox that the cactus is sitting on, then the cactus will break as well. But what you can do is put a glass block and look under it. You can also use an item frame and rotate it. And the underside looks like wood. For this next fact here, we need a bucket of water and a trapdoor. So what we're gonna do is create this little stream right here and we're gonna close the trapdoor. And when we close it, the water stops flowing. Did you know that? Let me know in the comments because this is very interesting. And for once, Minecraft works like you would expect it to work. By placing your cursor or an item in your inventory and pressing a number, you can move the item to that slot on your hotbar. You can also do it the other way around. Witches can drop the potion that they were holding if you kill them. And the potion that the witch holds depends on the situation. So for example, you could make the witch hold a fire resistance potion by setting her on fire. And maybe she will drop it when you kill her. Okay, so here we have a villager that has an 8 emerald trait and a 6 emerald trait. What happens if we hit him? Suddenly it's 13 and 8. And what happens if we hit other villagers in front of him? Didn't change. Let's try again. Oh, we killed this one. I bet... Oh, look at that. He lost his profession. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but they will definitely get upset if they see you killing other villagers. You can actually plant sugarcane underwater, but it doesn't seem to grow. You can't shoot endermen because they have a bigger hitbox that protects them. And even if you put them in place, for example, if you put them in a boat where they cannot move, you still cannot shoot them because they seem to teleport, even though they're teleporting in the same place, the arrows still miss them. The fortune enchantment in Minecraft works on gravel to get more flint, and it also works on grass to get more seeds. The durability of the elytra doesn't decrease by the amount of blocks you traveled and your speed doesn't matter either. What matters is the amount of time spent flying in the air. So here I'm doing some testing and I'm not losing any durability because I'm landing immediately on the ground, I would assume. But if we fly for a little bit longer, we're actually going to start losing it. Here is a screenshot of the Minecraft website from 2011, a really long time ago. And what do you see? You see Alex. So she has been planned to be included in the game for a really long time. And I have just checked and it appears that Alex was added to the game in August 2014. So it took her three years to appear in the game even though her skin was already ready back in 2011. If you put the ender dragon head on mobs, the mouth of the head will open and close as the mob walks. So here we have a villager with the head and we're gonna spawn in a zombie and see what happens. I think the zombie gave up. Try using a potion of night vision in the end. Did you know that sea pickles and fences have something in common? If you put down a fence and you put a sea pickle on top, it's the same size as the fence. 
so it fits perfectly. You can cover sources of white with carpets. This is a very useful tip if you want some hidden whiting. Now of course you don't have to use redstone lamps or glowstone or jack-o'-lanterns. Just using a torch is enough. A very rare occurrence, but since we have commands, it's easy for us to make it happen. When a villager is struck by a lightning bolt, it turns into a witch. Or in my case, it turns into nothing because guess what, I'm on peaceful mode. So let's try that again, except on easy mode. And it works. And also the witch will immediately drink a fire resistance potion because she is on fire. If you name a fish using a name tag and later collect it with a bucket, the bucket will say bucket of and your fish's name. Or in some newer versions it might just say your fish's name without anything. And also you can make fish upside down because the Dirnbone name tag also works on fish, it works pretty much on any mob. And it turns the mobs upside down in case you didn't know, it's a little bonus fact for you. If there is a boat between you and a drowned, the drowned will get into the boat and during daytime he will burn. So here we got two at the same time. And one of them is holding a chicken, okay I guess. And in case you didn't know, a drowned is basically a zombie that drowned. In Minecraft one block is one meter and your character is about 1.9 meters tall which is about 6 feet 2 and that makes you taller than most of the people on earth and also Alex is as tall as you which makes her taller than pretty much 99.9 .9 something something percent of the women because she is 1.9 meters tall as well. If you take the output from a jukebox you will get different signal strengths depending on the music disc that is playing. Zombies and villagers will be friends if you make them sit in a boat together. The levitation effect will not work if you are in water. So as you can see, we are still in place. But the moment we get out, we will start floating up. Just like with normal leather armor, you can dye leather horse armor. And there are a lot of combinations. You can harvest chorus fruit by shooting it with an arrow. And in case you're wondering, it doesn't work on the plant itself. Dolphins will play with you by stealing your items. So make sure that you don't drop anything into the water because they might just take it. Desert pyramids naturally generate in deserts and in desert hill biomes. Their floor is always at Y64, so this may cause them to be partially buried sometimes, and sometimes they will spawn completely underground. Here's a little contraption that you can build, so you need a chest, a hopper, a composter, and if you place the hopper like this, it's not going to work, so this is not how you build it and we are going to fix it right away. What you actually need to do is make the hopper point downwards into the composter. This is very important or the fact is not going to work just how I've shown you. And when you put something to compost, it's going to go into the composter and in your bottom chest you will get bone meal. 
So this is a very quick and easy machine to build and it's very useful for farming. If you see particles under the sand, just like you see here, these tiny little yellow snowflakes, if you can call them like that, that means that the sand is in an unstable position, it is floating and if you send a block update, it will start falling down, so be careful. It might just fall on your head. You can put a minecart in a boat or a boat in a minecart. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but what will happen is you will go as fast as on powered rails, just on regular rails, as you can see here. We're going really fast and if we sit in a normal minecart, it's going to be so boring and so slow. We're pretty much not moving at all. Okay, and let's make this work. So you need a minecart and a boat of your choice. Put the boat on your rails and try to push the minecart into the boat. You cannot do it from inside the boat, you have to go outside and push the boat. Now sometimes it doesn't work, so in that case just back up the minecart a little bit farther away and then try pushing it again and as you can see this is what will happen. And there's something wrong with my dog. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments below because he's been doing this for a really long time now. I don't know how to fix him. Maybe you should leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment if you haven't already. Or you can just hit him and it will fix it. But do that as well. Anyway, back to this machine that we've built just now. Uh, something that is interesting is if you keep holding forward, it will go forward for a little bit and it will go back and it will go back and forth. So that's really interesting. Right now I'm not holding down anything and it keeps going forward. It doesn't go forward forever, so you do need a few powered rails on your track, but it still will save you quite a few powered rails because you don't need to place as many of them on your track. Walls and fences will connect to open doors. Did you know that? It's quite a neat mechanic. If you want to catch yourself, you can with a fishing rod. And there we go, I caught myself. Pay close attention to the string that is sticking out of my head and going to the fishing rod. And we can pull it back. Now I only managed to catch a short clip of it, but you can give evokers items into their hands and when they raise their hands, you will see the item in one of their hands. Another rare occurrence is seeing mushrooms grow on leaves and on planks in mine shafts. And another rare occurrence is for a zombie piglin to spawn on a chicken. This is called a zombie piglin jockey. And yeah, this is how it looks. The chance I think is 5% and in case it's in the nether or in, a, in an area where chicken don't normally spawn, I think the chance is 0.25. And their chests emit a small amount of white. In case you're wondering, it's 4, and a torch gives off way more white, 14 to be precise. You can't plant sugarcane on gravel, but you can plant bamboo on gravel. As you may already know, if you use flint and steel on TNT, it will set it off. But did you know there's another way to light up a TNT? So just put it down and crouch. And when you light it, you will literally set the TNT on fire. So here we can see it in first person and the TNT itself is on fire and now it will go off after a longer period of time. Did you ever wonder how mobs see Minecraft? What does a creeper see? Well, for this fact I'm going to show you. So we have three different visions, the creeper, spider and enderman. We have to go into spectator mode with this command 
and when we go into a creeper we can see what the creeper sees and it's all green for the enderman he sees something similar to the end with a night vision potion and for the spider this is what he sees in case you're wondering about other mobs they actually don't have any different vision from you and the developers haven't added that so we just have three special visions for this fact we're going to go into the menu and change the language we need to find the japanese language uh, it might be difficult to find because it is written in japanese it's right here this is the japanese language we're going to switch to it and we need a bone so let's look for it in creative mode well actually you cannot find it in creative mode if you're in a different language and i don't have a way to type japanese so i'm just going to spawn it in and if you look at the character of the bone it actually sort of looks like a skeleton so let's get a real skeleton summoned and compare the, the two what do you guys think is this a silly fact let me know in the comments both the bee nest and the composter have similar textures and actually i think they look more similar to each other than a bee nest and a beehive so let's get a beehive going we're going to put it next to the bee nest and which of the textures looks more similar to each other as you may already know if a zombie drowns it will turn into a drowned however if a zombie rides a chicken the chicken will swim and the zombie will not drown so it's pretty much using the chicken as a boat and here we have zombie piglins and they don't seem to care about the water at all but regular zombies do and they fear it very much if you're underwater and you're running out of oxygen you can actually save yourself with the bucket so as you can see i'm actually gaining oxygen underwater it's quite a tedious process so make sure to get out as fast as possible using this trick villagers get really tired and that's why they sleep every night but what happens if you put boats in front of the bed that they want to sleep on the villager will get stuck and now we can steal the villager and take him into the ocean so no sleeping for this guy we're going into the ocean Did you know that chiseled blocks in Minecraft have faces on them? So on the quartz block we have a guardian, we have the wither on red sandstone, creeper on normal sandstone, a wither skeleton on nether bricks, and a shulker on blackstone. Also we have the chiseled stone but I don't think that looks like anything. Maybe I'm wrong, let me know in the comments what you guys think it looks like. Here we have a pressure plate, if we step on it, the lamp will activate. But did you know if we put an item frame in the same block that the pressure plate is in, and we activate the pressure plate, it will get stuck. And it will be like that forever until you break the item frame. And one more fact as always. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe now because I'm currently working on 55 more facts that you probably didn't know about in minecraft and if you enjoyed the video please leave a like um, and i guess that's that i'm a little bit tired because this has been a really long video and i needed to speak so much and find so much information so thank you so much for watching if you have reached this point and i'll see you all later bye bye